Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video about how to find the volume of a spear. All right, so what we're gonna do is you're gonna take notes with me on the first page, and then you have a chance to pause the video and try to problem on the second page, and at the end you can see how you did. All right, so how do you find the volume of a spear? Well, a spear is just like the shape of our earth, right? It's like a basketball. So really, all you need to know is just a formula. Uh, and there's two ways to write down the formula for the volume of a spear. I'm gonna write down both here. I want you to copy it down, please. All right, so the volume can be four times pi times radius cubed. And then you take that a whole number and you divide it by three, okay? That will give you the, the volume of a spear. But you might also see it written this way, okay, where you have volume equals four thirds times pi times radius cubed, okay? They're the exact same thing. I personally like to use the top one. Um, because what you do is you just figure out what the numerator is, then you divide it by three to get the volume. All right, so let's use this top uh, formula to, to get the volume here. So we know that the radius is six. So I know that the volume is gonna equal four times, now pi is 3.14, times six cubed, and that number is gonna be divided by three, okay? Well, I've done the math already, and I know if I do six times six times six times 3.14 times four, I get a number that equal to 2,712.96. But then we have to take that and divide it by three. All right, so when I do 2,712.96 divided by three, I get a final answer of 904. 0.32. Now we're not quite done yet because we need labels and because we're talking about volume labels definitely matter So this is going to be cubic feet And there is your your answer. All right, so to find the volume of a spear, it's pretty easy You just do 4 times pi times radius cubed and then you divide it by 3 All right, and don't forget if you get the diameter of a spear You got to take that and divide it in half to get the radius All right, so why don't you pause the video and try the your turn now problem and when you're done hit play you can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say you do this practice problem. So here we have a spear, right? And the spear has a radius of nine centimeters. So what I did is I plugged that nine, okay, right into this equation for the value of R, right? So again, notice that here's the nine and here's the nine, that's where it came from. So when I did four times pi times nine times nine times nine, okay, I got a value of 9,156.24. And then when you divide that by three, you get a final answer of 3,052.08. And that'd be cubic centimeters. All right, how'd you do?